Okay, hello guys. Um, yeah, uh, well, I thought I'd do some YouTube YouTube on this fine Thursday afternoon. Um, it's a bit kind of hairy fairy, this production, so kind of go with the flow with it for now. But um, yeah, I, I got given this replay yesterday just to give you some brief insight of what's going on. Um, as you may know, I'm, I do some work for Love Your Girlfriend and uh, yeah, Alicia, who is one of their protos, got the chance to play against Cop. Um, who is an absolutely fantastic Korean player. I can't remember the name of the team he plays for, but anyway, I thought I'd bring the replay. I haven't seen it yet, so we're just going to go through it, um, do a bit of cast, have a look, see if you can pick up anything. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. So if you do, click the subscribe button, guys, and um, yeah, uh, we will be starting in a minute. So anyway, um, kicking off, anyhow, um, introducing our first player, of course, it is Love Your Girlfriend's Alicia down here in the bottom left hand corner. And in the top we have none other than Cop. Now this is for the DreamHack qualifiers in winter, as you may know. It's the top four of the previous DreamHacks over the year that do get the automatic qualifiers. And um, there's also an online qualifier to make up the le rest of the numbers. So the quality of the players is absolutely astronomical. And Alicia, of course, um, thought he'd give it a go um, and he yeah, sent me these replays. So we're going to have a look. Alicia is kind of in your Midmasters and Cop is your kind of Code S um, Korean Terran. So very, very high quality. Um, the map, the map, Belshire Vestige at the moment. Seeing a whole kind of a variety of mix of plays at the moment from Stargate to Robo. Um, you know, Blink and all in. Not so much Blink these days um, because Terran's become quite good at defending it. But uh, we do see Cop coming down with 12 gas. So it does look like he's going to be opening Reaper. So very, very normal. Um, and Alicia actually having a look at this we are seeing uh, yeah he's going for that gateway expand he's taking a single gas not going for that double 15 that uh, we've been seeing um, also quite popular with Heart of the Swarm so uh, yeah there we go carp mining gas and uh, yeah looks like he's going to be going into Reaper production Probe can come in and scout what's going on, and uh, yeah, asking if it's around 128. So I think this is a best of. I think it's a best of. Yeah, it's a best of three. So I don't think it would be around 128. Um, maybe the round of 64. Um, here we go. So of course, going down as well. And as I say, that Reaper is going to go. Primary use in TVP at the moment is just to scout round, find those. Doing little proxies, keeping it alive, of using the functionality of the regen. Um, Optal about to finish up, and I like this from Leisha. He's got his probe out. Um, what you see some Protoss tend to do is they like to hide the probe, and then when the Reaper comes out around the four minute mark, um, he then goes into the base and scouts what's going on. Because you can see if there's going to be a factory or an additional barracks, and you need to react accordingly. But most Protoss tend to just go for this. Robo first. Now, both players have dropped down their expansions. We see the CC from Cop and we see a Nexus from Leisha. And now Cop just scouting around. And this is what I mean this Reaper play. He's just going around absolutely everywhere perimeters, borders. And even if it takes a few hits, it's going to be able to escape and just regen. Um, and it's just so fast. It's, it's, I think that, yeah, they are just as fast as Hellions. Um, Mothership Core is coming down and we see a very early bunker. idea behind this is if they chrono boost out that Stalker and the Zealot the Mothership very very fast then uh, you've got the first two Marines can instantly go in. They usually drop the uh, bunker as the barracks is also um, finishing up the reactor as well. So there we go. Um, we'll have a look now at the bases. Uh, Stalker is coming out and nothing too fancy from Nisha just yet and out of Cop, we see a very fast engineering base, so it'd be great for turrets, detection, and also a very quick plus one. And he's also got a second barrack, so Alicia doesn't necessarily have to worry about that second. Um, it doesn't have to worry about that factory play, so it doesn't have to worry about detection, is what I was trying to say. Um, you have to excuse me, guys, I just got back from the gym, so I'm a little bit tired right now. Which is probably why I'm like, Ugh. anyway, Robo is coming down, um, which will provide detection and at least get get an idea feel of what the Terran is going to be going for. Cop trying to 
take off that probe and does so very convincingly there. And we have, yeah, just poking around. More marines, steam and plus one coming out quite nicely. They're going to line up quite nicely for a little timing. And behind it, we can have two more gates as well. So, probe only just three gateways. Very, very standard. And Pot has got in there with that Reaper, I believe. Did it die? Yes, it did. So, it does go down. And we have a probe now encroaching up the top. Is he going to drop a pile on here? Potentially, sometimes we see Protoss dropping out a pile on just on the outside. Um, for those uh, sneaky little, uh, yeah, for those uh, sneaky little pylons that just are great for if they fly out your base, obviously you can just see what's going on. But he just wants to confirm that there is an expansion and maybe get an idea of what's going on. Again, those marines coming around the edges, constantly looking for those pylons. Really nice play, and now the observer is out for Leisha as well. Factory finishing up as well, so just to say, on two barracks, got very fast, plus one, here you get a plus one armour as well before the medivacs are coming out. We have a one-one timing. Cop now pushing out, going taking charge of the watchtowers. I think he's looking to force potentially an like overcharge. Um, and yeah, look at that, just uh, charging his units across the map, but of course we see that Leisha actually doesn't have that much in the kind of uh, form of units right now. Taking that very early robo means that his gateway can was delayed, so uh, he doesn't actually have that many units in his production. Second gear, well fourth final gear coming down, but the pressing thing is of course the aggression that's coming out. Um, he is in the main, I think he's worried about some form of drop actually. Anyway, here you go, cop coming on in, Stim isn't quite finished yet, trying to get that photon overcharge, but of course Leisha really not taking the bait right now. So he's just taking on, there you go, there's a the photon overcharge, and then cop will return just for the time being. Yeah, there you go. And now we have a Colossus coming out, so that early robo will pay off when that medivac arrives because he should have one just in the nick of time. And we have third gas for cop and turrets sacrificing that bunk well, salvaging the bunker. Third barracks coming down and no sign of a third just yet. But of course the medivacs are in the way, so uh Leash is gonna have to be on the defensive just for a little while until he gets his Colossus count up. Um and he's bringing back his mothership core into the main starlight. No, not going to take out. The C-Mac very, very well right now. There you go, there's the third. And the observer does scout the big blob of bio right in the middle of the map. Now, I like this one, Pop, putting on the aggression. Um, does smack the overseer, though. Um, and now, Alicia, yeah, there you go. He's looking for that third. Realises that he needs to put his third to kind of stay on track with the Terran. Um, and we have the third barracks also finishing up. Wouldn't mind that, interestingly enough, coming down for cop. So maybe just add a little bit more punch, or perhaps just to add a little bit of vision. Um, and here we go, drop coming into the main big stem from cop. Oh, well, you see, he will take down the mother's cop and the stalkers. Colossus there as well. Oh my god, you're always getting taken out there. Night forces from Cops of course get down, taken down and Cop sees that as a significant victory and is retreating on behind this. We have a, another set of barracks coming behind this and just, yeah, the production for Cop is absolutely phenomenal um, right now. Alicia falling a little bit behind, of course losing that Colossus was quite significant because obviously, to, you know, the Vikings are all that more powerful when the Colossus count are a little bit lower, you know, taking out four is obviously a lot harder than they to take out three, two, etc, etc. Barrett coming down to as well, and um, look at this, lots and lots of production. Um, no sign of those armories though on the way right now, and maybe Cop is looking to finish this soon enough, taking down the Colossus very, very early. One, one finishing up for Alicia as well, Twilight Cancel coming down in good time. Um, where is that Viking? What about the Vikings? Anyway, here comes the second push from Cop right now, and we have a second Colossus as well, and here we go, pushing on in, let's see what he can do with this right now, so we're on a probe actually, the other side, anyway, here comes the engagement, taking on that Colossus in, continues to be completely out of the position, poor Alicia is losing a lot here, having to pull the probe, is he trying to pull back into the main, anyway, here comes the forces now that we've got the drop we can come into the main, yeah, not looking too good for Alicia right now. Bio 
course, ripping through everything, and that concludes game one of two um, for Leisure vs. Cup. So uh, I will be uploading the second one. Um, you should be able to find it in the upload page. And again, sorry guys, a bit wavy kind of production, but just got back a bit tired. So uh, yeah, enjoy, and uh, you can find me in another video shortly. Ciao for now.